About four months ago, she started working out a lot more and became much more interested in how she looks. She's very attractive, but never really wore much makeup or did much with her hair. She has also started being very protective with her phone, which I know is a bad sign. Welcome back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories, where I go over them, analyze them, and most certainly make one of them. Today, going to go over a story titled, I, a 42-year-old male, think my wife, a 40-year-old female, might be cheating. And guys, this story is part one of a two-part series about a guy, like he said, in his 40s, married to his wife for a while, kids, whole nine yards, and one day he starts noticing a lot of suspicious behavior in her part, not acting like herself. All the typical behavior that usually ends up with cheating. Guarding her phone like crazy. Always uh, hiding, texting away when he can't see it. Suddenly she started becoming very interested in her parents. Working out. A complete uh, ab abrupt screeching halt to the SEX. All that type of stuff. And ultimately you're going to see that his suspicions were right. And she was cheating. But unlike a lot of guys that handle this like a total B-I-T-C-H. He handles this like a boss. And let me tell you, he definitely, uh, this is definitely something that a lot of guys have been burned can cheer for. This guy ends up uh, coming out on top in terms of like the terms of the divorce, but not emotionally, while her life begins to implode. I'll be a very entertaining one, good one to go over here, particularly for you guys that ever been through the divorce, you will definitely appreciate this. And it just goes to show you the type of things that can happen nowadays. Now, like I said, this is two parts. So I'm going to do part one right now. And I'll cover part two later on this evening. So it starts off. He says here, I've recently been starting to wonder if my wife might be cheating on me, but I'm not sure what to do from here. I have no smoking gun for evidence, so I don't want to confront her or bring it up in case nothing is happening or to have her cover things up. It has just been the small things and a spidey sense. About four months ago, she started working out a lot more and became much more interested in how she looks. She is very attractive, but never really wore much makeup, as did much with her hair. She has also started being protective with her phone, which I know is a bad sign. It is normal for us to go into each other's phones, but I know it never leaves her side, and if I ask her to take a picture or something, she will tell me to use mine. <clears throat> These are things... Red flags you got to pay attention to. I notice here they've been married for a while. And he says that although she's pretty, she doesn't really go, doesn't work too hard to make herself look better. Doesn't do much with her hair, makeup, all that. And now she's working out. Typical wife of many years. Uh, what else here? He says here, she's also been staying late at work more often and has been taking a few more out of town trips for work. In this last four months, she hasn't initiated any kind of intimacy and only gives me pecking type of kisses. I tried to initiate with her a handful of times and she rejected me uh, a few times and a few times she let me go through with it, but it wasn't engaged and, I, and she just laid there. Where there's smoke, there's fire. These are all the clear cut signs. It made me feel really bad or worse than getting rejected outright. I brought up the lack of intimacy a while back, and she said that she was just exhausted all the time from being a mom, work, and lifting weights. She said that she would try to do a better job and kiss me later that night, but nothing has changed. Pay attention to her actions. I've wondered if it might be some kind of midlife crisis kind of thing. There is a guy at her work that I'm thinking could be trouble. Aha. Uh -huh. My wife used to talk to, about him a lot, but a few months ago, she, she uh, stopped mentioning him. When a woman talks about another guy a lot, that's a problem. Because oftentimes, whether she realizes it or not, she's talking about him so much and kind of saying to some guys, "This is, you know, if you, whatever you're doing is bothering me, whether what she's bothered by is warranted or not, and this dude is going to be your replacement if you don't get your act together. Some bullshit like that. So pay attention to your relationship, guys. If suddenly your girl or wife starts talking about some of the dude a lot, you know? Yes. A woman's going to talk about her day and her work and people she works with. But there's a guy she talks about a lot. Usually, as these stories go, something's up. Um, but I know they still work closely together. From what I can gather, he is married with kids and told my wife that he is having marital issues. Aha. Uh -huh. 
I met him briefly a few times and he basically ignored me. We were around each other a lot, a lot of people. He isn't nearly as attractive as me, but definitely not in great shape like me, not to brag, but it's true. I'm a big and strong guy and he's kind of average and a little overweight. But he dresses flashy and is outgoing and likes to drink. I don't really like drinking and my wife has mentioned a few times that she wished I would go drinking every now and then. I graduated high school and have a master's degree. He also makes a lot more money than I do. I train fighters and love what I do, but make a very modest income. This guy probably makes six times what I do and flaunts what he has. One of those, huh? He's overweight, but he's got to make up for it by being the center of attention, flaunting it all. Those are the types of guys you just want to kick their fucking ass right then and there. I'm sure every one of you guys has known a guy like that. A guy that uh, you've worked with or done business with or somebody that you know or maybe a brother-in-law or something like that. You know that guy. And you know, guys that act that way, they're deeply, they have to flash everything they have. They're that showy with what they have and talk about themselves and usually have to be the center of attention and write about everything. Those guys are insecure as all hell. That's why they do it. Because guys that have, guys that are secure themselves, they don't have to show off. They know they got it. They know they're smart. They know they're successful. They don't have to do that. So remember, guys, when you see dudes really showing off the, the car, the clothes, the jewelry, the vacations, the big house, all that type of stuff, that, it's usually because they're very insecure. And also, a lot of them are up to their eyeballs in debt to sh sh show off this phony lifestyle. But you still want to kick their ass anyway. Anyway, he says here, uh, I train fighters and love what I do, but I make a very modest living. This guy probably makes six times as much as me. I just bring it up as I just bring it up as that is my assessment of how we differ. The biggest thing that I have been wondering about is that this last trip for work was a, tr a tropical resort type of place, and my understanding at the time was there was going to be a big group of them going. It turns out that it was just my wife, the flashy guy, and the CEO. The CEO is very old and doesn't want to interact socially. He is just all business. In my imagination, my wife and this guy spent a lot of time together over that week doing Lord knows what. Connect the dots. My dilemma is that I want to see if my gut is feeling right, but I don't want to cause a bigger issue by accusing her of asking or asking. We have had a few ups and downs over the years, but have had our pretty good overall marriage from my side. No major issues or anything. I'm not the most outgoing guy, and I don't make much money, which has been a small issue for my wife. Aha. Uh -huh. She says I am uh, not living up to my potential, and I can make a lot more money doing something else. I want to point out that his wife makes a darn good living. I don't want to make it sound like she is obsessed with money in any way, but I know women are more comfortable with bigger nest eggs. You're damn right. But you know what? There are some that they... Let's just say that she's hooking up with this dude and got together with this guy. Well, then, she'll be thinking, okay, this guy makes this much a year. Well, maybe I want a guy that makes even more than him. One of those deals. She thinks I can do things that... I, things, but I'm not really qualified for anything other than fighting or training fighters. That's basically been my entire life or being, or be, possibly being a personal trainer. None of those things are big money makers, but other than those things, she seems pretty happy. Yeah, well, these things do, they come up and they are an issue. But remember, and you're going to see in the story how it goes, she makes a lot more money than him. And when things come to divorces, when the wife's suddenly making a lot more, that can do well for the husband. In the right place, of course. A friend of mine said I should keep my suspicions to myself and start doing things to spy and collect evidence, if there's any at all. But I feel weird about violating her privacy. If she is cheating, I can't imagine I would ever stay with her. I hope I'm wrong about all this, but thoughts, thoughts of her cheating are starting to flood my mind, and I feel like I need to find out either way. We have two kids, and that is the part that scares me. I am involved in every aspect of my kid's life, and my heart would be broken to only see half of them half the time. Sorry for the long post. I would love to hear some ideas on how to deal with this. Well, the guy needs to go and do some recon and find out some information. Maybe a PI. Maybe that's too expensive for him, or, you know, they probably share the same joint bank account, so she's going to know where the money's going, but at least doing some recon, some research here. Because if he just comes at her, she's going to obviously be prepared to lie and cover her tracks, you know, but he's got to be sure. And right here, he immediately, as a good father, he's thinking about his two kids. 
they split up 50 50 with the kids they're gonna be heartbroken he doesn't want that but he can't be married to a woman that's acting this way and cheating on him because something's definitely up now on to the update here he says here so here is the newest information I was able to get the login information from our cell phone account. She uses her phone a lot for work and nothing looked weird until I started sorting the numbers and times. There's a ton of text to one specific number at times very late at night, a few hours after we go to bed. I'm going to go see whose number that belongs to and find a way to get into her phone and see what that name is saved under. After I saw this, I started to get emotional and angry. I tried to tell myself it could be a mistake or a girlfriend of hers. He's, he's given benefit of the doubt here, even though his gut tells him what really is going on here. Last night, I tried to initiate, expect to be rejected, and rejected I was. She said she was sorry, but was too tired and had a headache. It's always the headache. I'm tired. I got a headache. I got a toothache. Whatever. I told her I was feeling like we aren't connecting very well. She said she is sorry and will try to be better. She said that, she said that last time. I didn't push the issue or anything, just told her goodnight and went to bed. This morning she told me she was thinking about taking a girl's trip to Vegas. Oh, God. She doesn't gamble. I asked who she was going with, and it would be a few girls that I never met. Apparently friends from college. Maybe all this is a coincidence, but a lot of stuff is looking weird. No, it is not a coincidence. Probably the girl's trip is her meeting up with that dude. And we all know darn well what means when it's girl's trip. And not to mention a bunch of gals he's never met. He continues, he says, uh, now this part he doesn't update, but he kind of, obviously it was a big gap between the first part and this, so I'm going to skip a few things. He says here, he, was, he gave a little info about his background. He says, I finally did some snooping and looked at the detailed cell phone records, blah, 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 and there were hundreds, hundreds of messages. I called the numbers from a payphone and went to one of the coworkers, the one I thought that could be trouble. I was able to get her phone while she was in the shower, and the text conversation was the one thing deleted. Also, that guy's number was saved in her phone and a female's name. I'm now very worried about the out-of-town trips that she was going on where the guy was with her. I had to leave the house and cool off. I was able to get it together enough to come home, but I don't know what to do from here. If I confront her with what I have, she'll probably explain it away. I don't know if I should uh, try to keep it quiet and get more evidence, or if I should come out with it sooner. I am really, really angry. I'm furious at her, but also wanting to go after the guy. Uh, it will take everything I have to not do that. I'm worried that she will admit to inappropriate flirting, and I won't have enough evidence to get her to admit at all. Any advice on when to confront her? I'm going to stay awake during the time she texts him, and then interrupt her and ask who she's texting, see if she lies to me. So that's the update, end of another update, and now we're going to get on to some good stuff when he actually confronts her and catches her in the act. And... Yeah, it's good that he, he trains fighters. He is an ex-fighter, which you're going to find out in part two. So it would be a very good thing for him to go after this guy and kick the crap out of him. No one could blame him. That ain't got to look too well. This guy pr uh, trains fighters. Think about it. Got to keep it under control. Okay, next update. It says here, I laid in wait last night after everybody went to bed. I pretend to be asleep and wait to see if she got out of bed to get on her phone. Sure enough, she gets up a little late after midnight and goes into another room and closes the door. She actually goes to bed or pretends to go to bed and then sneaks away to go text this guy or call this guy. I waited a few minutes and I got up and quickly opened the door and walked up to her and said I couldn't sleep and asked what she was doing. I caught her mid-text and was standing over her too fast for her to delete anything. I washed her hand and she tried to tuck away the phone. She says she couldn't sleep either and was texting a girlfriend. I had a plan and went into it. I got on top of her and started kissing her and asked her if she wanted to fool around. As I expected, she said she couldn't. So I started laughing and tickling her and made a comment that she must be more into the girl than she and that she was more into the girlfriend that she was texting than me. Then I started to playfully wrestle with her and got the phone. I could see the panic in her eyes. She tried to get it back for me, but I turned away and held it in the air, like I was playing keep away. I was laughing and acting like I was having fun the entire time. I told her that I was going to call this girlfriend and ask her if she was into my wife. My wife yelled out, please don't call her. I started walking away and pulled up the text messages and I saw one that said, can't wait to see you tomorrow. There you go, as if there was enough proof already this poor bastard he's 
Try to take care of his family, be a good husband, be a good father, and this is the thanks he gets. And by the way, the old thing about, oh, it's okay if a woman earns more than a guy because she'll just love her guy just as much, even if though she makes a whole lot more money than him. Well, once again, it's showing not the case. I started walking away and pulled up the text message and saw one that said, can't wait to see you tomorrow. I pressed the call feature and it seemed like it took forever. But sure enough, the guy answered. I hadn't planned out what to say, so I just hung up. Then I started reading through the text in front of my wife. I asked her if she thought her girlfriend answered or a guy. She didn't say anything. Then I started reading off all the texts out loud and asked her why she was sending this to the guy at night. She said she didn't know. Oh, for God's sake. It's like a little kid. I don't know. I asked if she needed to tell me anything. She was quiet. Then I told her that I had looked at her cell phone records and knew everything. I knew when she'd wake up to text the guy and I knew who this guy was. She started crying and saying she was so sorry, but I kept my cool. Just like that. You can set your watch to it. The waterworks. The I'm so sorry shit. You're sorry because you got caught. Let's be honest here. I explained that the next few minutes were very important, and if she didn't tell me the complete truth, there would be severe consequences. Good for you, husband. She said she started flirting with her co-worker and that he was having marital issues and it turned into flirting. She said she never did anything with the guy. What a steaming pile of crap. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. She is going to give him as much as she thinks he knows and that's it. He ain't getting the full story. My fear was that she would only admit what I already knew. See what I tell you. I told her that she can't give me the entire truth that she had to pack a bag and leave. She agreed to do that, and she cried and said she was so sorry. She's doubling down on the tears and the so sorry shit. Before she left the house, she asked if I was going to leave her. I told her that it was late, and we would discuss that later. Oh, that, that's a good answer. Keeps her wondering. She left for her mom's house, and I haven't seen her since. But she was blowing up my phone, so I turned it off. My plan is to try to find a marriage counselor and make an appointment. I want, my wife, I want my wife to think I want to work things out while until then, when I will explain that I'm in counseling to get, to get, let me read this again. My plan is to try to find a marriage counselor and make an appointment. I want my wife to think I want to work things out. Good. And for a while then, and when I will explain that I'm at counseling to get walked through the process of splitting up. Good. This entire incident last night was something I had planned out in my head. Since I was pretending to wrestle with her and tickling her, I wanted to cover my myself. So I recorded everything with my phone just in case she tried to accuse me of something. I asked my friend if me recording is, is in our state legal, and he said it, it was. I don't think she would ever falsely accuse me of anything, but if I am leaving her, she might get desperate. I'm six foot four and athletic, 240 pounds. I'm also an ex-fighter, and I now train fighters. So if there's any accusation of issues, I will not be bullied and will get arrested and lose my kids. So my plan is to record everything from here on just as an insurance policy. Very smart, bro. Six foot four, 240 pounds solid. That is a big, powerful dude. And an ex-fighter that trains fighters. This is why I said earlier, yeah, as tempting as it was to go track down that dude and give an ass whipping, which he would deserve. Bad idea. Cop the cops, the courts will be all over that. I'm completely heartbroken right now. My entire family has been blown up. I will miss 50% of my kids' lives growing up and feel destroyed. I suspected something, but I am still in shock. The worst part is that this is all just the beginning. I want to confront the other guy, but I will need to restrain myself. I was told that he said I looked terrifying when he first saw me, so I would like to scare him. That's probably one of the reasons why he's doing his wife here, because he probably hates this guy, because this guy is big, stri big, giant, strong dude, trains fighters, and that's not what he is. So he has to overcompensate with his flashy clothes, lifestyle, personality, all that. What I tell you about insecure, and to really stick it to the guy, he has to stick it to his wife. I also saw that he referred to me as the animal in one of the texts, and she made a comment about me not being too bright. Oh, pfft. thanks, wife. I don't make much money or have a college degree, but I am an intellectual, curious person and read lots of books about all sorts of topics. I'm not the smartest guy, but I feel like I'm not stupid. I'll try to get an update as things go. Not sure what evidence, what advice I can get at this point. I am just devastated. This poor bastard here, and this guy obviously is not dumb, but I'm willing to bet you, 
because earlier he said I went to high school and then he said I have a master's degree and I think that was obviously not written right. I think I think what he meant was I went to, had a high school degree and something else, but not because you can't have a master's degree. You got to go to college, then get a master's degree. But obviously his wife obviously has more professional education, makes more money, and probably she in her mind felt entitled to a man with professional degrees, makes more money and all that, and probably is attracted to the flashy guy because the flashy guy probably has it. This flashy guy that she's describing, he's describing here, I'm picturing that douchebag from Die Hard. Y'all know what I'm talking about? When John McClane goes to the Nakatomi building and he meets that guy who's hot for his wife, that flashy guy, who said Hans Bubby. You know what I'm talking about? I know this because I was just watching Die Hard a couple days ago. That's what I'm picturing with just overweight and he described and you want to kick that guy's ass anyhow guys that is part one to this story and i'm going to do part two uh later tonight you get to see how this thing whole wraps up tonight where things really get interesting and how uh, the wife's life really goes down the toilet and she deserves it in my opinion all right guys that is it for today be sure to comment down below and just think about this and also guys if you get a good story like to share by all means email to me strong successful mail gmail.com just give me some time to get to it and i definitely will and be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.